Let's do it. John, shake something. Shake something. Okay. Not a breath. Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo. Oh, my God. Put your hands on the wheel. Hi, it's Michelle Larson from the Central Region. I've been with the company about six and a half, almost seven years. And my favorite literacy product to sell is really just about anything, but a lot of those manipulatives. And one manipulative in particular that we have is those 3D sound and phonics cards. And the reason why I love them so much is because uh, when you look at them and move them, it actually shows how the mouth is supposed to move for the kids. And I think that's just a great resource for the kids to see how their mouth should be moving. And the teachers seem to really love it too. Well, hello once again. This is Lee Hughes, Senior Educational Sales Consultant for Hand to Mind, and I cover South Florida. Uh, the other question I was asked to respond to was, what are some of my favorite literacy solutions to sell? And I gotta be honest, literacy has been a tough egg to crack. Uh, I think part of the issue here in Florida specifically is there's so much mandated there's so much prescribed literacy content. Um, there's also the perception of you need to be on an approved list or you need to be an adopted solution. Um, look, if it's hot, it's hot. If a customer likes it, the customer's gonna want it. Um, so some programs I've had success with, certainly differentiated literacy centers. Um, I had a Title I principal meeting and they had a very short window to spend money and I brought differentiated math centers, differentiated literacy centers, I brought some of our literacy other programs, you know, um, phonemic, phonemic Awareness and Phonics Toolkit, the Vocabulary and Phonics Toolkit. Um, unfortunately, Guided Phonics wasn't available at that time, but, but the, the product that, that a lot of schools, a lot of principals, a lot of teachers seem to hone in on is the differentiated literacy centers. Because we often hear that when students are in whole group, they've got their lessons. They're working on their content, they're working on their skills. But when it comes down to small group, specifically student-led small group centers, um, teachers don't have time to do all that lesson planning, even in a PLC setting. You know, teachers have other priorities, other tasks, other expectations. And so the fact that they can take a kit from us that has manipulatives, that has games, that has standard aligned activities, and within minutes, they can put out those materials and have students working on activities or playing games that reinforce, reinforce skills and concepts, um, that, that, that's, you know, it's an excellent solution. Um, the other area I've had a lot of success in literacy is with some of our smaller manipulatives. So 3D sound cards, um, the um, uh, word work mats and the word work trays. Um, the other thing is a lot of literacy folks like some of our smaller manipulatives such as the alpha poppers. Um, so I had a campaign in the fall of last year where I sent a mailer to every ELA director, manager and or um, uh, coordinator. And so I you know, sent mailers out to 19 school districts in my territory. I included a word work mat. I included an alpha popper. And then I got you know, a number of um, quotes and a number of purchase orders just from that mailer. So be creative, um, think outside the box. We do have a number of great literacy solutions. Uh, but unfortunately, until we get some larger districts to purchase or we get a little more interest in those products, um, they're not going to sell as well as some of our math and science and STEM solutions. But nonetheless, keep promoting those things. Um, they will work. They will hit. You will find an audience. Uh, you just have, need to build those relationships and understand that literacy teachers, literacy supervisors, they have a lot of curriculum. They have a lot of uh, objectives they're trying to maintain and trying to achieve. 
with specific resources. Hi, I'm Jeff Newsom, Senior Educational Sales Consultant in the Carolinas with Hand to Mind. And my go-to in literacy in the Carolinas is always first PAPT. And that's because with the science of reading and letters training uh, being so new uh, in the country, but definitely in the Carolinas, districts and administrators and teachers are looking for a ground level approach to starting all this training. And the feedback on PAPT in the districts is great uh, from administrators and teachers because it's skills-based lessons and the lessons are done for them with the gradual release of responsibility. So it has been a game changer for districts as they look to do letters and implement the science of reading. They now have a tool to help them start at the ground level with skills-based lessons. Amanda again from New Jersey. So like I mentioned before, I've been here for almost two years. Can't believe it's been two years, crazy. So my favorite project product to sell in literacy would be the Phonemic Awareness and Phonics Toolkit and the intervention, and here's why. In New Jersey, schools have been focusing and teaching with the Lucy Calkins uh, model and the balanced literacy. So now standards have been changed and they are, New Jersey is now really requiring incorporating more phonics into the instruction and really shying away from the whole cueing system and balanced literacy. So that is a conversation all in itself with teachers and a lot of them don't really know what to do. The supervisors kind of don't know what to do because it's like, so now what? We have to change everything. Okay. Well. You, you're going to use your core program, which is great, but we have these supplemental resources that guides you and your teachers through how to use, how to implement that phonics instruction with the manipulatives. And it's all kind of scripted out for them. So it guides them and spells everything out without it being too overwhelming and giving the teachers what they need while aligning to the changes in the standards. So that alone has been a sell and a conversation to have and it's not overwhelming anybody because it's all laid out for them and complements whatever it is they're already using. So right now that has been an, a, a nice conversation to at least start with to incorporate for teachers when it comes to our literacy products. Hope that helps. Hello, my friends. This is Jessica Lee Hall from I am Kathy Lejeune uh, in the Houston area of Texas, and I was going to try to pick a literacy product that is my favorite. And I don't think I have a favorite, but I will tell you what my favorite part about our literacy products are, and that is the ease of use. And this is really not true about just literacy products, it's true about hand to mind products. They are created with the teacher in mind for the ease of use. And it keeps them from just being put on the shelf because the teachers can just pick it up and with a little bit of training, if they realize everything they need is laid out right there for them for ease of use. And um, at least in Texas with the science of reading, we're looking for everything to be multimodal and that hands-on connection does that. Um, and you know, what else could you ask for? Just about everything that you pick up that's literacy is going to fit into those categories and it's gonna help you make a sale. All right, good luck. I'm Katie Leff and my favorite literacy product to sell is the Advancing Phonics Word Work Set. Teachers love these. 